All right, here's our video for 5.11b, multiplying complex numbers. We're going to set up this lesson just like we did radicals in the last unit. We're going to start by covering how to use distributive property. When talking about complex numbers, so here I have um, 2i times 7 minus 5i, so I'm going to distribute that 2i. So even though we talked about yesterday that i is not a variable, it doesn't represent an unknown value, it represents square root of negative 1. But when you're doing math on it, operations, it does work like a variable. So when I do 2i times 7, that gives me 14i. And then positive times negative, negative, and 2i times 5i is 10i squared. If we have a double distributive problem or FOIL, so let's say we have 3 plus 2i times 4 minus 3i, I'm going to take the first term, the 3, and distribute it. So that gives me 12 minus 9i. And then I'll distribute the second term, the 2i. That gives me plus 8i minus 6i squared. Now what I want you to write in this stop box is something we're going to use to continue the math. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, hold on. Um, we can combine these right here. Negative 9i, positive 8i is a negative 1i or just i. And then we have the 12 from up front and the minus 6i squared here. Now we're going to come back to these in a second, but we're going to talk about a new property today. So yesterday's property was square root of negative 1 equals i. Today's property is that i squared equals negative 1. And here's why. If we take yesterday's property, i equals the square root of negative 1. This is an equation with a square root in it. We solved those last unit by squaring both sides of the equation. So if I square the left and square the right, on the left I've got i squared, and on the right the squared cancels out the square root, leaving me negative 1. So that is a new property that we can use today. Those are just like two sides of the same coin. We use yesterday's property when we're simplifying radicals or square roots with negatives, and we use today's property when we're simplifying expressions that have i squared. So since i squared equals negative 1, they are replaceable, and I can substitute one for the other. So going back to this answer in number 1, I have an i squared right here, and I'm going to replace it with a negative 1. Now this kind of looks like I have negative 10 minus 1, like it's a subtraction, but it is not. In the step before, it was negative 10 times i squared, so this is a times as well. So I have negative 10 times negative 1, which is positive 10, and then I have 14. And on the answer for number 2, my i squared is right here. I'm going to replace that with a negative 1. So remember, it's times negative 1. So I have a negative 6 times a negative 1. That will become positive 6. And I still have the 12 minus i. And now the 12 and the 6 can combine, leaving me 18 minus i. Now, down here, I'm going to give you some problems to try. I want you to write them down and then pause the video and try them on your own. The first one for number 3 is negative 3i times, parentheses, 2 plus 4i. And number 4 is, parentheses, 5 minus 3i times, parentheses, negative 1 minus 2i. So pause the video and then try those problems. 
Okay, here's what you should have in number three, distribute the negative three i. So that's negative six i minus 12 i squared. Now substitute negative one for the i squared. Remember it's a multiplication, not a subtraction. Negative 12 times negative one is positive 12. And then negative six i in, there's nothing to combine there, so you're just done. And then four was double distributive property or FOIL. So I'm going to distribute the five. That gives me negative five minus 10i. And then distribute the negative three i. That gives me a positive three i and a positive six i squared. Because I have negative times negative and a negative times negative. So the, both of those will be positive. So now I can combine these two, negative 10i, positive 3i is negative 7i, and plus 6i squared becomes a negative 6, um, because it would be positive 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6. And then combine these two, negative 11 minus 7i.